It's 2015, and smartphone manufacturers are still trying to find ways to implement long-awaited features and hardware changes into their phones. It's no easy task. However, this is a whole different story when it comes to tablets. With their much bigger bodies, it's a lot easier to incorporate what should be industry standard features. This year, ASUS is not playing catch-up, loading their newest tablet with the latest and greatest features while still maintaining a pretty affordable price. Hello everybody, I'm Crystal, and this is the ASUS ZenPad S 8.0. There's two things you'll immediately notice when picking up the ZenPad S 8.0. First is, well, it's a little tablet. It's only an 8-inch screen, and this definitely helps it be a little more portable and easy to bring along somewhere. But still, it's not too small where it defeats the purpose of it being a tablet, and a lot of this is due to the nice 43 aspect ratio of the screen. So now the second thing you'll notice is, wow, this thing is really thin. Only 6.6 .6 millimeters in thickness. So this, mixed with this comfortable 8 inch screen, really keeps this thing from being too bulky and cumbersome. But when taking a look at the back of the ZenPad, we have some more nice design choices to help this tablet from being unwieldy. We have a brushed metallic design throughout the back, bordered by a shiny metallic edge that gives this tablet a nice elegant look. But towards the bottom of the tablet, when holding horizontally, we have a very soft to the touch leathery material that feels really nice when holding. It gives your fingers a nice place to rest when holding the tablet horizontally, and helps prevent the tablet from easily slipping from your hand. The entire border of the tablet is made of a soft rubbery material that also helps the tablet feel comfortable. The camera can be found on the back, and at the top, you'll find a headphone jack. The left side has a flap to allow access to a micro SD card slot that supports up to 128 gigs. The right side has the volume buttons and power button. And the volume buttons feel pretty good. They take a decent amount of pressure to push, but it keeps them from being accidentally hit. The power button is very hard to press as the button seems like it doesn't even move. It can be confusing to decide if you actually push the button or not without the tactile feedback, but I do think this was intended as well to prevent accidentally turning off the screen. If this is an issue for you, you shouldn't worry because this ZenPad supports the tap to wake feature. On the bottom of the tablet, we have a USB Type-C charging connector, which like I was saying before, is very nice to see ASUS help push USB Type-C closer to becoming the norm. On the same thought, Flipping the tablet to its front, we will see two front-facing stereo speakers on either side of the 8-inch screen. It's no doubt the best place for speakers to go, especially on a tablet where videos are regularly viewed, and they sound awesome. Not just because the sound is aimed right at you, but the speakers themselves are designed quite nicely. They are very crisp and clear. Inside the ZenPad S 8.0, we have an Intel Atom quad-core processor with a PowerVR GPU. This is also the world's first tablet with four gigs of RAM, although a two gig model is available too. In this review, I'm using the four gig of RAM version. It comes in three storage options of 16, 32, and 64 gigs, and it's available in black and white. This ZenPad is not able to connect to a cellular service, so Wi-Fi is your only option here. The ZenPad S 8.0 has a beautiful eight inch 2K IPS display, at a resolution of 1536 by 2048. Viewing angles are fantastic. Colors look very nice and by default are very accurate. If you want more saturation or even more true to life colors, you can easily adjust them by using the pre-installed ASUS app, Splendid. You can choose between balance, blue light filter, vivid, and even make your own customized setting. Text is very clear and sharp. There does appear to be a very small amount of sharpening going on throughout the display, which can make text appear a bit fuzzy, but this is only really noticeable in certain scenarios, like when black text is on a colored background. But this could always be fixed down the road with a software update. The ZenPad S8's beautiful screen makes viewing pictures a joy, and you would think this would be the same case with videos too, but for me, I was a little disappointed. This is kind of subjective, but when watching videos, the software tries to smoothen the video. So if a movie you're watching is intended to be shot at a cinematic 24 frames per second, the tablet will try to smoothen the video to make it look like it was shot at 60 frames per second, making it seem very, I don't know, just very strange. But like I said, this is all subjective, so you might actually love this feature. But if you're like me and don't, there's a setting called Blur Motion Free, where you can either set this to high, medium, low, or totally disable it. The problem is, even when I click disable, the effect is still clearly there. I'm not sure what's happening here, but once again, this could easily be fixed in an upcoming software update. 
What it comes down to is the screen itself is gorgeous. There are just some questionable software implications that damper it, but thankfully those can always be changed. The Zenpad S 8.0 is running Android Lollipop with Asus' skin called Zen UI. And I gotta say, this is probably one of the best stock UIs I've used. It does kind of have its own take of material design to it, but I think it looks pretty good in some areas, like the notification jar. But in other areas, like the navigation buttons, it can look a little bit dated. Asus's Zen UI is preloaded with a ton of uninstallable apps, which isn't so great. But the UI does come with a lot of cool features, which is great. Zen UI is close to a third-party custom launcher you would download on Google Play, which is nice to see. By holding down or swiping up on your home screen, you get this cool little animation that brings up a bunch of customizable options. It's similar to something you'd find in popular launchers like Nova Launcher, like icon packs, scroll effects, and launcher fonts. It doesn't just stop there though. With touch gesture, you can draw letters while the screen is off to launch certain apps. In motion gesture, you can do things like shaking the tablet to take a screenshot. There's even a kid mode where you can turn your tablet into a protected environment for a youngster set with parent controls and a timer. There really isn't enough time to talk about all the features the Zenpad S 8.0 has to offer, but it's just really cool to see a stock UI being so customizable. I know I had a lot of fun playing around with this tablet and making it the way that I wanted before I even hit the Play Store. It's a little disappointing that something like dual window or having small versions of apps running side by side is not available, but that might not be a big deal for some people. On the lock screen, you can set up to three shortcuts to launch your most used apps, which is very handy. By default, these are camera, mail, and browser, but you can change them to whatever apps you'd like or just disable them all. Not only is the software of the Zenpad great for customizing, but it creates a very smooth and lag-free experience. Animations are incredibly smooth. Switching from app to app is quite fast. And there are really no complaints here. You can expect a stutter and lag-free environment on this tablet. But when you move on to games, you may notice a few stutters or hiccups. And these don't happen too often, so it isn't something to worry much about. But like I said before, since this tablet has a smoothing mode on it that you can't seem to take off, it can be a mystery if games are actually dropping frames or not. Gaming is also the only time you'll experience the tablet getting warm. It never gets hot though. Overall, this tablet handles games very well. So when it comes to the camera, does the Zenpad S 8.0 break the tradition of tablets coming with mediocre cameras? Well, maybe just a little. It definitely helps get closer. The front facing eight megapixel camera is capable of taking good pictures, but only in very specific situations. It does tend to overexpose a lot. Like here, no matter how many shots I tried to take, focusing on different areas of the picture, the tablet just refused to expose correctly. Other times, it takes some pretty gorgeous photos. You never know what you're gonna get, but more often than not, you end up with a good picture. Details can be pretty lacking, and sometimes it has some trouble processing some bright colors. But is it horrible? Well, no. We always say good cameras and tablets are not a necessity as they are in smartphones, but it's always nice to have a decent camera for a quick snap of something. And I think this tablet does a great job of that. It's definitely one of the better cameras found in a tablet. There's no optical image stabilization or anything like that on here, not even a flash, but on the software side of this thing, it's loaded with camera effects. For example, pictures in low light can be very dark and noisy. But there's a low light mode which bumps up the brightness and tones down the noise. It's not very clear, but this feature does a great job at taking a bad photo and turning it into an all right one. The front facing camera is five megapixels, but with enough light, this thing can take some pretty good detailed shots for a front facing camera. In normal lighting conditions, selfie shots can start to get grainy. But when you're shooting with a front-facing camera, you get even more crazy camera effects, which can always be fun on a tablet. And at the end of the day, this tablet is a big step in the right direction when it comes to cameras and tablets. It has its faults, but I was pleasantly surprised. This Zenpad S 8.0 has a 4,000 milliamp battery, so it's a bit smaller than most high-end tablets out there. But then again, this is a little smaller and thinner than most too. And that 4,000 milliamp battery mixed with this tablet software makes for some pretty decent battery life. I could easily get five to six hours of screen on time by spending my whole day watching YouTube videos and browsing the internet. If you're not somebody who's gonna be watching videos all day long, then this tablet should easily last you all day. Overall, the Zenpad S 8.0 is everything a tablet in 2015 should be. With dual front-facing stereo speakers, four gigs of RAM, 
2K display, extremely customizable UI, and its USB Type-C connector, Asus really did an amazing job here. The tablet has the latest and greatest features we should come to expect in this day and age. Right out of the box, this tablet exceeds expectations and doesn't need any help from third-party apps to create a great tablet experience, even for the bigger tech enthusiasts. Thankfully, the only flaws in the ZenPad S 8.0 are software related, so they can easily be fixed sometime down the road. For $299, the ZenPad S 8.0, of course, is well worth picking up. Thank you very much for watching. And make sure you hit that like button because that really helps us out. Also leave a comment below letting me know what you think about this tablet. And make sure you subscribe for more videos, not only from me, but from my brothers here at Android Authority. Also, don't forget to listen to our podcast every single week. And lastly, don't forget to check out our website, androidauthority.com, because we are your source for all things Android.